four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Even now, Glenn is streaking toward the United States, and he must begin the retro sequence 300 miles west of California if he's to land in the planned recovery area 700 miles south and east of Florida. Our Friendship 7, this is Cape, over. Our Friendship 7, this is Cape, over. Our Roger, re right, re-entry checklist complete. Standing by for main at 10. Roger. Down on 10, snorkels are open. Roger, understand, snorkels are open. Roger. Main chute is on green. Chute is out in reef condition at 10,800 feet and beautiful chute. Chute looks good. On O2 emergency and the chute looks very good. The rate of descent has gone to about 42 feet per second. The shoot looks very good. Hello, Mercury Recovery. This is Friendship 7. Do you receive? Mercury, Friendship 7, this is Steelhead. Loud and clear. Over. Right here, Steelhead. Uh, Friendship 7, the shoot looks very good. Over. Home is the Voyager. Behind, a journey of 81,000 miles. Through three days and three nights, in just four hours and 56 minutes. At 3.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friendship 7 comes to rest aboard the United States destroyer, Noah. And John Glenn returns to the people of Earth. A change of clothes, a breath of cool air, a short debriefing. Then, Glenn leaves the NOAA, heading for the aircraft carrier Randolph, under the golden splendor of his fourth sunset of the day.